It was just yesterday. My body and my mind was consulting each other, and they had come to the conclusion that it would be ridiculous for me to be working on this. So it should have just gone into the burn pile. Well, this morning, for some reason, the mind part won over the body. This has to fit into this container. And it doesn't seem like it's going to work. Is it? So maybe the body was right. It's stupid to be working on this thing here. Okay. Okay, the secondary plan is to get this ready as close as possible to get it into that can. And if it still doesn't, then we'll put it back in the ground and let it grow back. There's a good likelihood that with all this extreme cutting back, this may not make it. Although being a type of a Chinese elm, it should be okay. But you never know for amount of work they put in, maybe the rewards are not that great. So anyway, I'm going to proceed uh, with getting this cleaned up and lighter and to see if it fits in that container. But you can see that there's a slight chance that this actually might work, right? I got the root ball down. I need to clean up a little bit more. And so what's going to happen is this is going to be treated like a hardwood cutting because there is hardly any root left. But I think because it's an elm. It's a sage and elm, but it's an elm. So there's a good possibility that it could work. So if I'm a betting man, I go 40, 60. 40% 40 success, 60 failure. But uh, I guess it's still worth it. Can't believe I got it in. Actually, it looks promising in terms of the style, right? Uh, I'm probably gonna recut that at the, about where the chain is in the future after I get that uh, side branch to become a new apex. But that's two, three, four years down the line. Anyway, I did get it in this container. So tomorrow, done. I got it in this container. And like I said, this has about 40% chance of success. Now. If I wanted it to be 60 or 80%, I could have put it in a larger box, not cutting all those large roots. But think about the future. Right now, this is rough material that could have been easily thrown out. But I took the chance to put it in here. And what I wanted to do was to make it so that if it does uh, make it, that 40% it does survive, that it will have a potential for the future. Now, if I got it to survive at 80%, but it's in this humongous box, then you have to do it again and or put it in a humongous container that you may never find. So it seems to be a better idea to take your big chances at this stage. So if this should die, it's better than if you waited another two, three years, and then you have to go through the same thing again. So that was the logic. What yeah. next? Well, I have to find a spot where I could leave this and it will not be disturbed for at least a year. Okay, the reason for it is this had no feeder roots, or very few, okay? And with any luck, they'll come out. But if when the feeder roots come out, and you shake this, either by bumping or trying to move it, then you'll kill that. So your 40% chance of success becomes 20% or less. So what I'm going to do is to uh, make sure that the soil gets jetted in. I got to make sure all the air pockets are out. 
So that's another thing. So you gotta make sure your air pocket is out. Find a place where it will not be disturbed for uh, at least a year. And so if I have a buyer, like in two, three months, I can't sell this because in the transit, it could die. Actually, the test of how successful I am with this tree will be after summer. Okay, this coming spring, well, within about a month or so, it's going to leaf out with nice green foliage. It could be a dead tree, but the, the trunk has energy stored, so it'll live off of that. But now, come summer, if it hadn't rooted well, it'll die. So, this is only the first part, and I think we have a chance, but I will not celebrate till we get through the, our hot summer months. So, okay, I found a spot. It's between the benches. And this is an area not many become to. So I think it'll be great. So this guy will be here at least a year. And let's hope that it makes it through the summer and then we could say it was a success. So this was a very, very, very old and very, very big, big Seijuan elm.